Hi, Reed. Do you mind taking over on this repair while I check some messages? Yeah, just some parts repair. I know you can't do repairs on holy androids. Thanks. Yes, it's a right arm. Compatible with all the older X905s. You can see the problem here with the ulnar wiring. That needs to be taken care of. And then just make sure all the joints have full range of motion and the hand is articulating properly. I want to get this fixed up and then we can do an upgrade on it. What kind of upgrade? Well, let me get these messages taken care of while you work on that arm, and then I'll show you some of what we do around here. How's that repair going? That's great. Yeah, I see where the ulnar wiring's all fixed up. And the hand is nicely rearticulated. Thank you. That is fine work. Oh, you noticed something else? Ah, the serial number on the arm is missing. Good catch. No, we're not going to concern ourselves with that. Besides, you know that once it's connected to the Android, the operating system would be able to identify the serial numbers itself and store them. In any case, that serial number is on the motor, which is what we'll be replacing with the upgrade. Okay, so you were wondering about what we were doing next with this. Well, I just got a message from an existing client. She has an X905 she's very attached to, but he's injured his right arm beyond repair, and my client would like to get him fixed and upgraded a bit, so he won't injure himself in the same way again. What was he doing? Well, technically, that's none of our business but the client did volunteer the information, so... He was climbing, and he fell. No, androids don't usually climb for recreation, and he wasn't either. His person had asked him to climb the outside of a building, but the stone anchor failed, and he slipped. He was able to stop his fall by catching the building lower down, but it did irreparably damage his right arm. We are going to fix him and give him an arm that's stronger than before, so it won't happen again. Why was he climbing the building? I told you, because this person asked him to. <laughs> Why did she ask him to? Reed, I appreciate your curiosity, but I'm going to tell you that it relates to my client's work, and we're not here to ask questions beyond that. What we are here for is repairing androids and performing client-requested upgrades. Okay, let's get everything ready for when they arrive. Please make sure the main charging pad is connected and working. Yeah, not everyone shows up with their android charged, and I have a policy of always finishing them up fully charged. I think that's part of good customer service, don't you? I'm going to get the tool set we'll need for this. Here we go. Okay, would you please go in the second storeroom and get a plastic box we can put the old arm in? 
We'll store it until we have time to take a look at it and see if any parts of it are salvageable. Now, the last thing we'll do before the client gets here is the upgrade on this arm. Watch carefully because this is something we do pretty frequently, so it will be important for you to see how it's done. First off, you know that with modern androids, their physical components generally conform to a certain set of standards that is actually well above specifications. It's not spoken about much, and that's because the companies making androids do not want the public to panic or worry about their beloved household companions turning violent. The reasoning behind this capability is a life-saving one. Designers wanted androids to be able to do things like lifting beams off crushed people, catching falling humans, and similar things. This means that the hardware here in this arm can withstand quite a bit more stress than the motor it currently has can put out. So all we need to do is swap out the motor for a different one, perhaps one from a prize fighter android or a first responder, and we'll have an arm capable of feats of strength a normal X905 wouldn't be able to attempt. No one will see it coming, that's for sure. First, lay out the arm full length like this. Now we're going to disconnect the motor from the humeral rod. First, the wiring. Please locate and remove power. Internal communications. and feedback. Next, we need to disconnect it physically from the rod. Here, and here. That's it. Now just lift the motor out. We're going to replace it with this one I just got delivered. It's capable of double the lifting, throwing, and punching power of the old one. And, as we discussed, the arm can take the force. Here. Please connect it physically first, and... You're right, there's no serial number on this one either. But we talked about that. Please just connect it physically. Okay. Now, connect the power communications, and feedback. Great. We're all ready for them. Hmm? You wanted to tell me something? Oh, I see. Yes, the shoes that were in your room probably were a bit worn, and that sole doesn't look repairable. Well, that's all right. You can just toss them and go get another pair from the closet in the hall. Yes, that's my closet. I always wear the same rubber-soled work shoes, so I just keep a few extra pairs around for any androids who come through, or ones who stay. Just find a box with a new pair for yourself. You're right. It is fortunate androids have standardized shoe sizes makes the job of outfitting them a lot easier, that's for sure. Okay, you got a new pair? Great. That's probably our client. And patient. Reed, would you mind getting the door? Thanks.